Hi, welcome to our video. Today we're having a look at this fantastic 7 inch Android 4 tablet. Um, this comes in two varieties. It comes with the uh, the white back, that is our 4 GB version. Um, and we've also got the 8 GB version which comes with a, a black back. So that's the, the only difference. Apart from that they're identical. So the, the white back 4 GB, black back 8 GB. Okay, let's show you what the um, the tablet comes with. It comes with a UK power charger plug. It comes with a uh, small USB to big USB to uh, transfer things to your PC. And finally, it comes with a manual. Now, this manual is pretty rubbish, to be honest with you. The writing is very small, and it refers to um, Android 2.3. Obviously, now this is Android 4, so this is pretty useless. So, but if there's anything that you want to find out about the tablet, do give us a, a call or email us, and we'll do our best to help. Okay, let's um, talk about the uh, the optional extras you can buy. Uh, first of all. You can get this handy little aluminium stand that basically opens up like that and then you put your tablet on top and that's great if you want to uh, watch movies and videos and stuff it, it, it props it up very nicely if I put it on properly that is there we are okay and the other things that you might want to buy um, is a case I've got this faux leather case the tablet just goes inside here and you can close it like a book if you want to go one up from that, we've got the, the case which also turns into a stand. Got the stand back here. And it also has a keyboard as well. So your tablet will fit in here. Um, you, you plug the uh, USB in and then it acts as a keyboard as well. So that makes it into a little laptop. So that's a, a, a good accessory to have. Okay, let's have a quick look on the outside of this, uh, this wonderful tablet. Obviously, we've got a seven inch screen here. We've got uh, Android uh, capacitive buttons. We've got a back button, a home button, and our menu button. If we look down here, we've got the micro SD slot. Here we've got the uh, the power uh, port or, or the DC in. We've got uh, USB the here. And we've got HDMI, um, little microphone there, and we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there. On the top here, we've got the power button and the volume rocker up and down. And we've got a little speaker down here. It's, um, you know, overall it looks very nice. The, the other thing about this, it's very thin. As you can see, it's really rather thin. Due to the fact that it uses uh, LED for its backlighting, it can, it can be much thinner than the tablets uh, we've uh, grown to know. Right, let's turn it on and have a quick go. So if we turn it on the top here, we've got our Android 4 lock screen. I just unlock it. Now, as with Android 4, you, you get several home screens that you can customize. I've already customized mine by putting a few widgets and clocks on here. Um, as you can see, I've put uh, BBC News, a clock, a weather widget. There's plenty more you can do. You can customize it very, very easily by putting your own things on here that you want to. Okay, so I've got another weather widget there as well. As you can see, it is rather smooth. It, it responds very quick to the touch. And that's partly because this has a, a great uh, capacitive screen. Um, it's not a resistive screen on, on cheaper tablets where I have to use my fingernails to, to make it do things. Um, it's a lot easier to use with a capacitive screen. All right, up here I've got my app tray. So um, I can open up the app tray and it shows all the applications that I've got installed on here. Down here I've got the back button, I've got a home button, um, and I've got a recent uh, application list there as well. And here I've got the, uh, the settings and time and the notification tray. And it's showing me I've got updates and things. Um, so, let me talk to you about the screen again. Now this screen has got a five point touch. So it can track five points. There we are. So you can track all five of my fingers. Now what that makes it do is the tablet will be far easier to use, far more intuitive, and you know games um, and things will work far better because you know more touches, more inputs that you can do for games and stuff. 
and obviously web pages um, and just generally using it will be far easier and far more of a joy to use um, than if you had a cheaper touch screen. So this is a fantastic screen that can track five points of the screen as you can see. So what else can you do with this tablet? Now the, the other thing uh, a tablet of this uh, size would be great for ebooks. I've downloaded the, the Kindle application, so you don't need to buy yourself a Kindle. You can get one of these and do what a Kindle does. So I've downloaded some ebooks on here. If I turn it around this way, it's got auto rotate as well, and I can read my ebooks on the go. It's very nice. If I want to make the text bigger, I can make the text bigger, I can make the text smaller, depending on my preference. Now, if you don't like the, ki in, uh, the Kindle e-reader applications, you can quite easily go to the uh, the Android Play Store, it's called now. So if I go here, actually, I'm going to show you the Play Store. And I can download anything I want. Um, I can download new games, uh, new books, movies, whatnot. There's, there's absolutely loads of stuff on here that you can download, and it's most of it's free as well as you can see so you just browse to what you want click it and install it and away you go um, so that's that's really good to have the the Android uh, Google Play Store um, some tablets do not have this surprisingly enough um, with it things are so much easier to have that so this ha does have this so what about internet browsing Wi-Fi range is pretty good on this internet loads up I've connected to my Wi-Fi I was just on the Amazon store actually um, so internet works really well with the multi-touch I can zoom in and zoom out of web pages so handy when there's small writing on web pages they can't quite see you can quickly zoom in and you can see how great this process is working as well typing is really uh, easy as well just click on that open that again typing is easy as well um, if I bring up the keyboard here so you've got your on-screen keyboard and it's fairly easy to type things out with as well oh, I just typed a load of gibberish so I didn't understand that but you get the idea so typing internet browsing is easy obviously you can connect your email account and do email and things like that the other thing is you can do on this you can make this a little computer if you like you can download um, some office applications there are some free stuff on the market uh, if I go into quick office here I can not only open up uh, Microsoft Word Excel documents but I can also create them um, so I can make a new Word document like that that's my document and then I can type and create new documents on the go um, editing them on the go as well but there you go you can use this for work as well so if you need to justify this with anyone there's a justification for you there now this touch screen is superb as you can see it's it's so responsive to the touch and now that's partly because of the processor it's not a slouch processor it does you know process things really really quickly it's a very good processor it's very sensitive this screen I can show you how sensitive it is as you can see it's very very sensitive very responsive too It will be an absolute joy to use. It really will be. What are, what other things that you can use this tablet for? With the HDMI, you can use this as a little media center if you like. Um, you can open up videos on your memory card or on the device or YouTube. And if you didn't want to watch it on um, on the the tablet, you can you can connect it to your PC. Uh, I mean I mean your uh, TV by HDMI and um, watch it on a bigger screen hello and welcome back to the Yonkbox yeah okay that 
that's a very strange video there okay so um, yeah you can connect it via HDMI there to your HDTV and um, you can not only watch movies um, you can play games as well on a bigger screen now going back to videos um, this is one of the very few tablets that BBC iPlayer works with not all tablets work with BBC iPlayer but this supports flash um, and it does uh, play BBC iPlayer which is fantastic because you know you can watch loads of programs there's a wealth of programs on the iPlayer that you can watch in the comfort of your garden in the back room upstairs in the bedroom um, so that really makes it a great little device for that now this is called flash 11.1 uh, uh, if it ever asks you to update the flash please do not update it because BBC iPlayer may stop working because this device was designed for flash 11.1 it's not recommended you update it the BBC iPlayer app can be downloaded from the uh, the Google Play Store. Once you've downloaded it, you can. There we are. It's saying a, a new version of Flash is available. Do not update it because uh, it may stop your BBC iPlayer working. Four high-profile pensioners moved in with four OAP hosts. I'm Leslie. And confronted by all these people whose minds are are such. If I'm absolutely honest, I just want to run back to London and go and scoop my mother up. So there you have the iPlayer. Again, you know, having iPlayers is just wonderful. So let's uh, have a look at some games because the other things that you might want to do on this is, is play games this has a dedicated 3d processor um, and it can handle um, a lot of games with ease um, so I'm going to show you a selection of games now and uh, you can see how great and powerful this uh, device truly is So as you can see, the, the game performance on this tablet is uh, quite quite very good actually. Um, you know, it's got a dedicated uh, 3D graphics processor, the same as the, the Samsung Galaxy S2, the Mali 400. So it's very competent um, playing games and things. 
with tablets you can do so many things I mean uh, I, I could uh, go on forever telling you what you can do with tablets um, I mean you, you can play guitar I just open this guitar application I've got it in the wrong mode because I was playing this earlier let's put it on free mode there we are I don't actually know how to play the guitar but it seems pretty cool it seems pretty cool I'd like to learn with this obviously you, you, you could uh, learn guitar or piano or whatever there's so much you can do so let's wrap this up uh, then this tablet is a superb piece of kit um, you know it, it has all the latest technology packed into this really slim case um, with the LED screen it makes it really nice and small and thin and light nice bright to vibrant touch screen capacitive as well five point touch makes it really good um, it's running the latest Android 4 it's got the Google Play Store it's got everything you'd want in a tablet. Um, you really can't go wrong with something like this. Um, it is a superb tablet and great value for money because we are offering this at a fantastic price. Um, I don't know what else you'd need in a seven inch tablet. This really is all you need. Um, thank you very much for watching our video. I do hope you buy one of these soon.